tostada. Um, until this recent trip, I didn't know what a tostada was. It was on the menu at a restaurant I went to called Medley. A tostada is basically um, a tortilla, a soft tortilla that is fried to make it crispy. And then the dish is built on that. It can be a corn tortilla or um, a wheat tortilla. I've got a wheat tortilla. The inspiration I had when I went to that restaurant was the fact that they use tuna. So this is going to be my version of it. Um, Wilkes Medley's tuna was uh, with sriracha, it was gorgeous, um, and also he did it with avocado. So I have made a guacamole, and I will stop talking now and um, show you how to make it. As usual, I get everything prepared in advance. So this is this recipe, when I write it, will be for two people. This is cucumber, I've put on some lime and some salt, and I have left that. For at least 30 minutes or up to three hours. I've got some sushi grade tuna. Um, this was in the freezer so I froze it as soon as I bought it and I always keep a, st a little stock of that uh, so that whenever I fancy tuna I can then take it out. It doesn't matter that it's been frozen. Um, in fact it's probably better that it has because we're going to be eating it raw. So I've chopped it up you can see very small. I've also made some, my version of guacamole, which has got some tomato in there, some spring onion in there, there's some coriander, lime and chilli. I will write the full recipe. Lastly, I've got some soft tortillas, which I'm going to fry now and you can watch. I have never fried a tortilla before, so you're watching me do it for the first time. I use one of these, it's um, an infrared uh, temperature gauge thing. Uh, it's what they use during COVID to put on your head and see what temperature you are. Uh, this is uh, 150 degrees, which is slightly hotter than I wanted it. I wanted it at about 140, which is what I usually use as a safe frying temperature. I'm just going to slide this in. It's in about one centimetre of oil. Um, and I'm just going to cook it until it's crispy. I'll time it and I'll let you know how long it takes. I only need two for dinner tonight, but I'm actually going to do a couple of extra uh, in case one, I want seconds, and two to test how long they keep fresh for. This is very exciting. Oh my word. I might turn it down, it's smoking. I might put the fan on. I'm just gonna say, I don't like the fact it puffed up because I don't want it puffy. So I have just pierced it with a knife. This is experimental cooking at its best. Oh, look. Okay. Yeah, that's getting crispy. Okay, that feels crispy. It's got some colour. I'm going to put that onto um, some uh, paper to let it soak up all the excess oil. So I'm going to carry on cooking these and then I'll do the rest of the dish. Um, I feel a bit out of practice from doing um, these films. I'm now preparing the marinade for the tuna and I'm going to leave the tuna to marinate just for 30 minutes, no more. In a bowl, I have mixed two tablespoons of soy sauce with one tablespoon of, I can smell it, sesame oil. I've got about 200 grams of really fresh tuna. I've done that already. So I've got the tuna. I've got two lovely um, spring onions. I am finely chopping the white and the green parts. I have here some ginger. I'm going to grate about that much. What's that? A couple of centimetres. Um, I'm using my ginger grater. I'm also not peeling it shoot me. Uh, I always just think it's a waste peeling it. Uh, and this, this grater is fantastic because it collects the juice as well. We're going to want about a teaspoon's worth of ginger. I'm going to turn this off now because nobody wants to watch me grating ginger. <laughs> Tuna. Going in a bowl. Smells lovely and fresh. Give me one sec. I love my little baby spatulas. This is the soy and uh, ginger and spring onion. I'm going to give this a mix. 
and I'm going to leave this actually I think I'm also going to give it a tiny pinch of salt just a little pinch I'm using sea salt only a little bit because that will cure the fish as well so I'm going to leave that for 30 minutes and then it's going to be an assembly job this is now an assembly job so the first thing I'm going to put on the plate because I don't want my tortilla to move around when you eat it with a knife and fork because I've just got a little bit of rocket um, I happen to have in the fridge Lucy's ginger and sesame dressing sometimes it's not all about making everything from scratch yourself but if you don't have this dressing uh, you could just mix together a little bit of oil um, and I guess it's sesame oil with uh... oh god I'm sorry do I start again or do I not I'm not going to start again you would just mix a little bit of sesame oil with something um acidic to make a dressing I digress here are the uh tortillas that I prepared earlier That's going to sit on there. I'm super excited about this much. Oh, no, they're about the same. I'm going to do that. Next thing that I've got is the guacamole that I made earlier. I'm going to divide it between two. It's for two of us. So the guacamole is going on the bottom. Next, I'm going to... This is the marinated tuna marinated tuna is going on this is plenty it's a super healthy supper or a, or a lunch this will just go on here next I've got the cucumber that I have mixed with lime and salt that can go on the top as a garnish I've also got here some um, coriander leaves just going to give it a little bit of coriander. Something that I use. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, hang on. Oh, I just had to pause. I just had to pause it because um, I realised I hadn't got it out of the cupboard. I thought about getting it out of the cupboard. Something that I've used in quite a few of my recipes before now is furikake. You can get this in the supermarkets. It's a mixture of sesame seed and um. Oh, what's the stuff in the sea? Seaweed. It's just a lovely thing to finish dishes off with a sort of a salty finish as well as the sesame seeds. I'm giving it a generous sprinkle of umami and because I just like to keep adding stuff. Mm, you can also get deep fried shallot in the supermarket and why wouldn't you? Don't overdo it with that one. Just a little bit. So this is my tuna and guacamole tostada. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it.